Tonight, Florida's swamp stands directly in the path of a perfect season for the Gators arch rivals from Florida State. An old rivalry and a very high impact chapter tonight in front of a packed house on a soggy evening in Gainesville. Coaches in different situations. Billy Napier just trying to get to six and six in a bowl game. Mike Nervell and the Knowles already booked a spot in the conference championship game next week. They're thinking CFP. After a 31 yard fake punt was negated by the penalty. Gators take over at the plus 40 and ETN is loose. ETN around the end picks up about 14. ETN off the left side. You're talking about linebackers for Craig Kalen Deloach, Tatum Mathune. They've been part of the strength of this defense. The 35 yarder to make it a 10 point lead. And he knocks it through. The analytics, Kirk, say go for it on fourth and one. They always seem to say go for it. But what's your thought on that decision? Knowles rush four. Good production. Pass is caught over the middle and a first down to Trey Wilson. He's the underneath receiver, very reliable target. ETN's right here. He'll take the backer with him, and that opens up a nice, easy read. Read the backer, goes outside. Receiver from the outside works back in. 16-yard play should give him a boost of confidence in the early going. ETN makes a cut, slips through a tackle, and knocked down after about a seven-yard gain. This time they don't. They rush four. Brown backpedals, delivers a long throw, looking for Trey Wilson again. He's got it. What a clutch pitch and catch. They're inside the 30. Are you kidding me? This is one of the great throws I've seen all year. Off of his back foot, pressure in his face, and over the shoulder, makes a great throw. And quarterback run is in play in this kind of situation. It's a pop pass to ETN, and he gets popped. That time, Jared Verse didn't whiff. They don't get him to the ground, but he goes backwards and a huge loss. Boy, that was a huge play. This from 48 away to give the Gators an early lead. Drives it, but it slides wide right. And really sets, makes the forces to Benson to work outside. I don't know why he just didn't give up on the play. I know that you're confident in your ability. But he just kept trying to find somewhere to go. 8.17 to go. Gators rush four. It's a screen and all over it is this Florida defense. Try to get it to Toa Feely. Sets up a tricky third down here. Knowles rush five. Ball out quickly. And that time the catch is made for a first down. Khalil Jackson. Brown on the move, pump fakes, delivers a throw down the middle, another precise throw, that's Hayden Hansen, the tight end, he had some swag in the meeting, I think he felt he was up to this moment. Pitches on the far sideline, ETN left alone, and bangs forward, fights for a first and goal to the five, they forgot about the running back. Brown is going to take a sack. Swarmed again by Braden Fisk and Jared Verse. They, they're not blocking number five so far. No, they're not. There's nothing they can do to slow him down. No showing pressure late here, walking up a linebacker. They bring it, and they knock Brown down. Akeem Dent draws a flag. First of all, defense. They don't call targeting. They didn't say the number. And this is an example, we'll look at the penalty in a second, of an inexperienced quarterback. He looks at him, he sees it, they don't make the adjustment with the protection, and you get hit. That's what they got to be careful. Second and goal. Johnson walks in! And the Gators take advantage of that controversial call and draw first blood. What happens with all the bells and whistles? Look at the Florida State defense react to this right here. You got jet motion, you got the tight end off to the left, going out to the right, and look at the linebackers and the safeties react to that. There's nobody left. Their eyes are in that backfield, and they're seeing a different attack than anything that they've studied all year that Graham Mertz has done. One thing Travis never did was turn the ball over. Rodemaker's got to be careful here on third and 14 not to make a mistake. Raiders big pressure. 
Rademacher on the run makes a long sideline throw looking for Johnny Wilson who makes the catch. Gators walk up a backer showing pressure and they bring it right up the middle. Rademacher retreats and takes a safety. This struggling Gator defense hadn't looked like this all season. Derek Wingo makes the play. Aggressive mindset. It's right here actually where you're able to get into the backfield. An attempted block by Keon Coleman, and he goes right by him to get into that backfield. Great play by the freshman. Seminoles from the 10. Hand it off. Benson, that's his first positive game after a couple of losses. He rips off 15 and they get the drive going. And there they go. That's what you look for. Maurice Smith, the center, pulls around. Numerous times able to create electric plays throughout the season. That's been missing so far. Rademacher from the pocket does press the ball downfield on cue finds Jaheim Bell that is the play that perhaps could be Tolofili takes a handoff and Lawrence Tolofili banging through defenders first down of the 16. They do bring pressure. Rademacher rolls away from the pressure. Files near the pylon. Reaching and making the catch is Wilson. 400 pounds plus. Benson. Sutter step. Muscles in. Touchdown Seminoles. What a drive for this quarterback who needed something good to happen. Hot with receivers because the timing. And then once they got that confirmed, Missy beat him a couple times. He just knows how to call the ball plays when he plays that defense. Uh oh. Johnson takes off. The Knowles have called a timeout. And Johnson might make him pay. A huge play down inside the Florida State 25. 14 seconds to go. Johnson again, right back to work. Has a hole. A flag is out as he is knocked down at the nine, but a flag in what you would expect would be the holding zone. And now, but a Gator holding. appeared to throw a punch Offense, at him. Number 67, 10 yard penalty. First down. That's the flag that was thrown. Yeah, Leonard right there grabs a hold of Love It. And then Verse gets caught up with. Kick is away, and he missed it. This time he hooked it. Wide left. 6 7 makes that play. As you suggested, they have a little bit of tempo after the first down. Trying to get some rhythm. Right back to Coleman. Coleman, his first catch is a big one deep into Florida territory. A very efficient opening drive in the third quarter. Benson has the football, runs through, tackles Trey Benson to the secondary. Trey Benson to the end zone. And the Knowles claim the lead on a 36-yard run. But watch the block right here, the AT&T clicker. Really good job by Emmanuel being able to help out in a stretch play. you got to climb up to get to those backers. He's able to do that right there. And then you have Benson breaks through an arm tackle and has the speed. Takes that angle and into the end zone. No show pressure again and bring it. Brown this time delivers the throw over the middle and it's caught for the first time by Ricky Pierce. This is their last game if they don't get the win and it's been a long time, 21 years since the Gators have had a thousand yard receiver. Johnson a big gap. Knocked down inside the FSU 40, got 21 more. Keeper. Space and using those legs, the athleticism. Gators to reclaim the lead. And he does get it inside that right upright. So Coleman could do a lot of things. He comes out of the backfield. Rademacher taking too much time, and he'll be swarmed at the 15 That's by the Desmond fella. Watson. 400 pounds got home. The band in the student section breathing down his neck. Rodemaker steps up and looks for Coleman downfield and threw it into a very risky situation.
ground to the edge of completion, but flying up there is Jerry and Jones, one of the best playmakers on this defense. Crawshaw drives Coleman back to the five, and Keon Coleman gets going. Look out, Keon Coleman could not. Wait, wait a minute, he's still going. I thought they had him penned in. He bounced it to the 43, a 39-yard return. He caught it at the four. It's initially, and crayshaw has been hitting bombs all night. You just wonder if he outkicks his coverage here. This is what Coleman can bring. You know, he's a big guy. He's known for his contested catches. Shows you what he can do in traffic. I mean, how many punt returners do you see at 6-4? Not a very well-thrown ball, but Rodemaker gets away with it. Wilson has been the dominant targeted receiver tonight. Benson makes a cut, started right, first back up the middle for seven. Huge moment here. Pressure comes, Rodemaker completes it for a first down to Ja'Kai Douglas. Pinpoint throw, and that's a strong-handed grab. Some confusion and some tired dudes on the field. Play 11 of the drive, Benson. Smothered right there, no gain. Chris McClellan, one of the backup defensive ends, brings up fourth down with a glorified extra point from 19. But the margin very frequently and has again tonight. Brown pressured again, spins free, but can't escape. And he'll be brought down by Peyton, who had a monster series. Those edge rushers were enormous there. That man. Rodemaker against a four-man rush. Can he escape? Can he get there with his legs? Not known as a runner. Takes a huge hit. Flags come in against the Gators. And he is down and in distress. Wow. Watch this, Chris. When he goes down, I think he gets under a lot of the contact. He gets, and the Gators hit each other. No, he's in there. He's hit. He's a defenseless player once he goes down. And the Gators have had some mental errors in this game that have been costly, none bigger than this one. The minute he starts to slide, the play is over, right? We've talked about that throughout the season. Brock Glenn, by the way, is the next man up for the Seminoles. He was the third string quarterback at the beginning of last week's game. He's a freshman, After the play true was freshman over. from Tennessee. Foul with targeting, defense number 23. 15 yard penalty, first down. That play is under further review. Yeah, if they put the late hit in there, even if the targeting goes away, the late hit stays, and you got a new first down. It's just great to see Rodemaker up. You can see him right in the middle there, walking back to the sideline. In that game of 11 yards. The ruling on the field for targeting is confirmed. Number 23 is disqualified. So first the down, second Gator state. defender has been kicked out of the game. Jamari Lyons earlier for spitting, and now Hill for targeting. Football's moved all the way to the 33. That's the thing I think we got to just step back away for a second and remember that was third and 14 and and he was basically scrambling he gives up on the plays about four yards short Gators are off the field they're going to get the ball back and instead you deal with a, a, a mental error from Hill and he gets kicked out of the game I mean look he's got to get to the other 45 for a first down he's going to be about four yards short because when that slide starts it's where the football is. He cans this. He kills this. Same pressure. Power formation. Everybody lined up close to the football. Benson. First down. Still running. Trey Benson. All the way to the end zone. Hat trick. Touchdown for Benson. And on this right side, watch this open up, and then watch the Gator to the outside miss this tackle. Good job by the offensive line. Watch the back take his time. He's not going to rush this. Takes his time, navigates, feels right there is a chance to make a tackle. Another chance to make a tackle. Kimber and Marshall miss it. You cannot do that against this good of a back. He's got low center of gravity, great balance, runs through those arm tackles. The Gators defense has been playing well tonight, but missed tackles, undisciplined moments.
Can you think the fans at home can hear that tomahawk chop here in the swamp? You need 20 to keep any faint hope alive, and there's a pick. He threw it right into the hands of Kalen Deloach. And he's one of the big playmakers on this defense. Some high fives finally from Jordan Travis. This one is done. Max Brown, this is not his strength when you put him into an obvious passing situation. Jordan Travis fired up to see it. Young man has played very well tonight. He's given his team a chance. He just doesn't see the middle linebacker here. You got a veteran in Deloach who's made big plays for Florida State's defense all year. He's just sinking in coverage, reading the eyes. Brown's more effective as a dual guy. Run, can throw, play action, kind of keep you guessing. You sit back in that pocket. I just don't know if at this stage of his career he sees the field well. And Mike Norvell knows he has just secured victory here in the 